Welcome back to week 20 of the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. It's me, an exotic llama, starting off this week by turning in some daily challenges from last week. One is for rune spans, for a little bit of rune crafting, and this is Extreme Magics. Nice 24k there. Uh, going to go move on to some spooter killing now. So, as you can see, it's about uh, two hours past the daily reset, and, well, I still don't have a new daily challenge up here. Uh, that's because, having logged out, and um, been doing harps the entire time, I finally went through the effort of setting up TeamViewer on this crappy old tablet that I have and my PC, and uh, I was watching the new Jason Bourne film in my living room, and would just, you know, press on the harp every few minutes to keep it tuned, and uh, never got logged. Um, yeah, so there's going to be some real efficiency coming in there. If I can manage to do it in some classes, I will. And I'll, you know, go to class and I'll collect teaks or do some harps or whatever it may be. Uh, but this will also help whenever I'm, you know, going around the house doing uh, chores or, like, watching a film. Yeah, fun stuff. Also, as you probably noticed in the last clip, I'm pretty much 95 crafting now. 4k away there. Okay, there. Level acquired. 95 crafting. Pretty big one right there. And, uh... Yeah, it doesn't really unlock anything other than the effigy, but... Yeah, nice. Four levels left to go there. Alright, so I did my fourth and final kill for today. Um, uh, but funny story, I forgot to renew my Beast of Burden, that being my War Tortoise in phase, uh, before coming. So, um, I... Yeah, I just did Path 3, going 1-3, killed all the minions in Phase 3... <laughs> with an inventory of food and nothing more. And I ended with one shark and 6k HP. Whew. <laughs> oh man, that's some scary stuff. And I've now unlocked the stainless steel region and ports. Moving on to day 135. Uh, today has been a lot of harps to start off the day, working on some homework, and there's a 24k summoning daily challenge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <sighs> oh. There it is. <laughs> ah, God, now I just need a help. Oh, but I could stop going path three. <laughs> yes, finally. God. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how many kills that took. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so 94 total to get a full full leg. I don't have a hilt though, uh, so I'm going to go uh, spam a lot of path 1. Also, that kill is going to get me like an invention level because my chain skirt finally hit level 12 from only doing a Raxor, or almost only doing a Raxor. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so I'm, like, shaking right now because I'm so happy. I'm actually going to do a lot of Araxor today. I'm going to do the uh, Pheromone later on. I didn't extend my aura this time, but I will later. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> mm, it only requires... <laughs> it only requires level 30 crafting. <laughs> That's worth 138 mil. Oh, this bank, though. <laughs> and hey, you know, invention gains, right? There we go. Okay. Let's go! Oh! Yes! Well, streamed for a little while, doing uh, the two hours of racks, and got nothing. But I have the spider leg now. Um, yeah, I use my other pheromone as well, and I'm up to 106 kill count. Um, yeah. Rip. On to the next day. But hey, at, at day 135, I'm pretty happy about having one leg complete, 106 rax kills, and, you know, 2435 total. Pretty happy about, uh, my overall progress so far. On to day 136, working on, uh, some invention. Actually, it's some fire making. Uh, but yeah, got Tinker 3. Gonna throw that on there just for some extra XP gains. And uh, 
yeah, I'm going to be fire making my maple logs probably a while today. And I've got like 20,000 banked, and uh, yeah, I'd appreciate the fire making gains that it would give, plus, you know, the chance for Bernie. And, you know, I'm reading a textbook while doing it, so it's super efficiency. Also, this week may be one of those weeks where I don't get a 99, uh, but I get two the next week. We'll see what ends up happening, though. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> mm. Okay. Are you kidding me? Back to back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> back to back. <laughs> this is hard because I don't know if I make a staff or not. <laughs> oh my gosh. I actually don't know if I make the staff or if I wait until I get the other two. I think I'm just gonna YOLO and make the staff, like, right now. Because, I mean, a friend of mine has been telling me he's ha he has a lot of fun doing mage rack. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna YOLO. We'll see, I got a few, few seconds to decide, though. Oh my god. Alright, yep, it's that time. It's that time. I did two more kills, didn't get another hilt, but... Ah, there we go. 144M. All right. Yep, one way process. Go ahead. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. And I got my my magic cape on. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh man, I'm going to have to like start camping hellware now so I can get some uh, tier 80 magic uh magic armor, tier 80 mage armor. Yeah. Whew. Don't know if I'm going to mage Rax. Uh, some friends of mine tell me it's pretty fun, but you want to yak first. So, that'll be like next week or something. But, yep. Current status of the account. Decently lucky over here. Yeah, so I've got the uh, two tops, one mid, one bot, and the eye at 110 now. Whew. Starting day 137, really late in the day. This is after I got out of school. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm super motivated today. So I'm going to try to knock out most of my way to a 99 fire making. Only at 94 and got uh, yeah 4.9 million to go. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, also, I think I'm going to stop doing daily racks for a little bit. Uh, maybe only do it whenever I feel like it, you know, feel like doing it for fun. Um... But I'm going to start focusing on doing, like, God Wars Dungeon 2, uh, stuff like that, for, um, like, Tier 80 armor. Because that's something I really need for my account. And maybe also finish up my uh, God Wars Dungeon 1 armor sets, because those are kind of lacking. So, if I remember correctly, yesterday was like a one-clip day. Uh, that's something I should uh, try to avoid in the future. Uh, but anyway, I did a lot of fire making. I did some AFK harps. Uh, you can see here, it's about 3.5 mil left for uh, 99 fire making. So it was like a 1.3 million day, something like that, yesterday. Um, and right here is just a fun little thing. There's a prayer level, uh, 97. Um, I'm going to start coming over and doing half an hour's for agility a lot more often. And uh, yeah, I'll get some prayer along the way. I'll actually get most of the way to 99 prayer um, just for free by doing this uh, half an agility course. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna keep doing harps on Ithil hours, because I'm gonna pump out that 99 before too long. It's about 4 million left to go. And, uh, gonna go do some thieving shortly after this, uh, just so I can do my Tears of Guthics for the week. Which also means I want to do the new quest, because the quest came out yesterday, and, uh, want to have the quest point cape bonus for doing Tears of Guthics. It's gonna be a bit of a busy day. And there, knocked out 83 thieving. And then went a little bit further than that. Um, 
realized there's only about 10 hours left to go over there at uh, Minifights, because I was getting around uh, 250 to 270,000 per hour. Um, that's a that's a pretty good rate for thieving at this level. And there's the new quest, Back to the Freezer Complete. A uh, little bit of XP, like that's pretty decent for how long it takes to complete. Uh, allows you to find another penguin every week. Um, but this is interesting, the Penguin Hide and Seek and Balthasar's Big Top Bonanza will now scale with level. Um, so let's just see, let's see just how good that is. Uh, 16 points, so it's giving me some XP, and I'm going to put it in summoning. Nice, 59,500 for 16 points. Let's see, it's, uh, that's about almost uh, 3.7k each. So that's pretty good at uh, level 93. So yeah, summoning's getting on up there. Also today I'm going to go take care of my monthlies. I uh, haven't done any of them this month, I don't think, so I think i got to get on that. See, seven hours left until uh, it rolls over to March 1st. And there's Tears of Guthix for the week. Uh, hopefully going into farming. Yeah, 72,000 farming gets me really close to level 83. And of course, uh, just did the monthly god statues, which is over there somewhere, and then I did the monthly uh, troll invasion. That's going to go on summoning this month. Uh, 68k, nice, pushing me uh, just to about 2 million left to go for the pack yak. On to day 139, doing my daily divine locations, and uh, starting the day with a nice little hi YouTube. I'm a moment late because I had the wrong headphones on, but there is 97 fire making. Uh, it's a nice little level there. Might try to knock out those last two levels today. We'll see how much, just how much motivation I have to keep chopping these curly roots. Also, check out these uh, sweaty prayer point savings. So whenever I go to chop a root, and uh, I'll just toggle on superheat form, get the XP, eventually and turn it back off, save some prayer points. Normally I do like two or three roots. Uh, but then whenever I need to drink prayer po uh, prayer potions, I'll switch over to the Holy Wrench to get a few more prayer points, and then switch back to the prayer bonus book. Yeah, definitely worth it. Super late in day 140. Um, actually logging in just before reset because I was afraid uh, one of my daily challenges might get taken away but here is sawmill 23k woodcutting and an extended construction challenge for 82.8k and uh, nice it refunded just about half of uh, what I used up uh, you see yesterday's was a delve into Damonheim after I rerolled it um, but I ended up losing the smithing one that I was holding on to uh, for like steel swords or something like that because uh steel ceremonial swords because uh i forgot like i forgot and i didn't want to have want it to happen again because daily challenges are just too valuable to lose also as i'm going to um uh, my nimi forest for the day um which i've been neglecting a lot haven't been doing it many days uh, but that's because i've been busy whenever i would go uh, normally um as i just said i've been busy recently uh, so my progress might slow down a little bit, like this week's progress was definitely slow. It's, uh, most likely a shorter week. I haven't counted the minutes, but it's probably going to be like 20 minutes or something instead of 30, 40, like uh, some of my weeks were uh, coming out. Um, but that's just because I've had a lot of stuff building up, and uh, outside of that, I've been doing some stuff outside of RuneScape just to, uh, you know, kind of relax. Um, there is a Path of Exile League starting up tomorrow. Uh, that would be the first day of week 21. Um, it's at like 2 p.m. for me or something like that. Uh, and Path of Exile is a game I love. It's probably something I'm going to play as soon as I comp, actually, because uh, they're going to have a huge expansion coming out, uh, all kinds of new stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, um, it's something that I want to play. I love playing solo self-found in it, and they're finally adding a mode to support it. Um, so I thought I might get on the ladder or something and play around with that. Uh, so next week is probably just going to be a lot of harping and like AFK fishing, something like that. Might not even get a 99. Uh, we'll see, though, how much effort I put into this game. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd throw out that little warning that uh, some of the upcoming progress might slow down. Uh, but I'll try to keep you guys satisfied anyway. 
Sorry for really rambling on there. I really, uh, I don't know, I just kept going. I, I couldn't keep my train of thought. It, yeah, anyway, here's, yeah, Nimi Forest. Fun. And here, for the last day of week number 20, getting the most useless 99 of all, fire making. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least it's a 99 for the week. There we go. And uh, I just had to do it right here by the cape guy. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And uh, make another fire just like he does. Hmm. All right, cool. Uh, so that's another for the collection. I'm hoping next week will be... Whew, no idea, honestly. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens there. So on week number 20, I have 7 down and 20 to go. That puts me at maxing around week 40, but uh, we'll see about that. It sounds like way too much time for me to finally max at week 40. Alright, ending off week number 20 with a little bit of harping. So this is going to be... Uh, yeah, it for the week. We'll see what 99 comes up next week. Might end up being prayer. Might be uh, crafting. Hopefully gonna work on some attack towards the end of the week, but, you know, as I just mentioned, like, moments ago for you guys, uh, I'll be playing another game for a little while, um, and I'm planning on doing a lot of harps during that duration. Uh, and maybe some fishing, you know, get some uh, fish finching out of the way. Um, Got a pretty nice stack of harmonic dust building up here, which is probably going to be like 100k by the time I uh, end up hitting 99 crafting. Alright, well, uh, that's it for this week. Week number 20, so presumably like the halfway point in the series. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been uh, me, an exotic llama. I'm out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. Alright, later. <laughs>